Inflating with fire. Mysterious bubbles. Powerful blowouts. And loose tires bouncing out of control. I'm about to go off like a weapon. Fuel to the top, gotta fill up. A circle of rubber holds tons of steel, energy, and human lives. It seems simple, but inside a tire lives a dangerous science that can either save you or destroy you. Today, we are going to uncover the hidden side of this everyday object and explore four situations where tires become the main characters in stories that feel straight out of an action movie. No negotiations, it's my the myth of inflating with fire. And like a damn Freemason, I'll run The mysterious bubbles The blowouts that turn highways into battlefields And what happens when a complete tire comes off a moving vehicle and bounces out of control Let's start with the myth of fire on social media, you have probably seen a viral video. A mechanic places a tire on the rim, sprays a bit of flammable aerosol, lights it up, and boom! The tire snaps into place instantly. People cheer, calling it a clever trick. The truth is, it does work, but not because of magic. It is pure physics. The trapped air expands with the heat of combustion, pushing the rubber outward and sealing it to the rim. The problem is that this shortcut is a gamble. The combustion is not always controllable, and what looks like a cool demonstration can quickly turn into disaster. There have been documented cases in workshops where carelessness with this method caused fires that resulted in over $100,000 in property damage. In Europe, an accident of this kind left a mechanic with severe burns when the tire exploded right in his face. Tire manufacturers warn about it clearly. Inflating with fire is not an approved method. Any attempt to do so voids warranties and puts lives at risk. Imagine trying to light your stove with dynamite. It might work once, but sooner or later the explosion will come. Now let's move on to a quieter enemy, the invisible bubbles. You probably know someone who has seen a small bulge on the side of their tire and did not think much of it. It looks minor, like a blister that could pop without any real consequence. But the truth is very different. That bubble is a warning sign that the internal structure of the tire is damaged. The steel cords and fibers that give the tire its shape break after a strong impact, usually from hitting a pothole. And even though the outer layer remains intact, the air looks for an escape and gathers at that weak point. What seems like a small bump is actually a fracture point. And if you try to pop it, you not only fail to fix the problem, but make the tire even weaker. Driving with a tire that has a bubble is like driving with a grenade under your car. You do not know when it will explode, but you know it will. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration in the United States, more than 11,000 incidents every year are related to tire failures many of them caused by structural damage such as bubbles. In Mexico, the Mexican Association of Insurance Institutions estimates that at least 30% of traffic accidents are linked to tires in poor condition. Here is where the economic side comes in. Replacing a damaged tire can cost anywhere from $100 to $1,000 on a car, and much more on heavy vehicles. It might seem expensive, but compare that to the cost of an accident. Property damage, hospital bills, insurance claims, and in extreme cases, human lives. An American insurance company revealed that an accident caused by tire failure can cost a transport company more than $25,000 in compensation. Suddenly, that new tire does not seem so expensive anymore, right? The power of a blowout. Nothing illustrates the force of an exploding tire better than seeing it on video. A trailer moves down the road normally. Suddenly, boom! The sound is like a cannon blast. Smoke rises like an explosion, and pieces of rubber fly through the air like shrapnel. Why so much violence? Physics has the answer. 
A truck tire can hold more than 120 PSI of pressure and support tens of tons. When it bursts, all that energy is released in a fraction of a second. If the truck is moving at 90 km per hour, the kinetic energy is equivalent to hundreds of kilograms of TNT. That is why the fragments are not just pieces of rubber. They are projectiles capable of smashing through windshields and knocking over motorcycles. There have been documented cases of people standing by the roadside who were injured after being hit by debris from a truck tire that exploded as it passed by. In another case in Asia, a roadside food stand was destroyed by a blowout on a busy highway. And in the United States and other countries, motorcyclists have lost their lives after being struck by flying rubber fragments. So what should a driver do when it happens? The hardest part is not to panic. The instinct to brake or steer sharply is the recipe for a rollover. Experts recommend keeping a firm grip on the steering wheel, allowing the vehicle to slow down gradually and pulling over in a controlled way. In road safety tests, more than 60% of crashes following a blowout are caused by the driver's incorrect reaction, not by the blowout itself. For heavy vehicles, the risk is even higher. A single rear tire can cost up to $1,000, but when it bursts, the company loses far more – delivery time, cargo, and reputation. An accident like this has blocked highways for up to 12 hours, causing logistical losses of more than $500,000. That is how expensive a single second of carelessness or a worn-out tire can be. When a tire comes off while in motion, if a blowout is already terrifying, imagine the entire tire detaching from the vehicle at full speed. We are not talking about a flat tire, but about an object weighing between 20 and 40 kilograms turning into a projectile at 100 kilometers per hour. A loose wheel is completely unpredictable. It can roll straight for several meters or bounce and suddenly change direction like a steel ball. There have been cases where a wheel shot across the opposite lane and ended up lodged in the windshield of another car. In another case in Latin America, a detached wheel rolled downhill, hitting parked cars until it stopped against a wall. The cause is almost always the same – poor maintenance, loose lug nuts, misaligned hinges, worn-out axles, or improvised repairs. In trucks, it can also happen after a blowout that rips the bolts right off the rim. What begins as simple neglect can turn into a game of Russian roulette on the highway. The economic consequences are devastating. In the United States, compensation of up to $200,000 has been awarded for accidents caused by detached wheels. In Mexico, insurance companies report that these kinds of incidents often lead to million-dollar lawsuits, especially when third parties are injured. The recommendation is simple but vital. Regularly check the torque of the lug nuts, never ignore metallic noises or vibrations, and perform preventive maintenance. A wheel that comes loose does not give second chances. After going through these four scenarios, the conclusion is clear. A tire is not an accessory, it is a safety system. Inflating it with fire is recklessness disguised as a trick. A bubble is a time bomb waiting to explode. A blowout is a reminder that physics never forgives. And a wheel that comes off is a projectile rolling out of control, capable of changing someone's life in seconds. That is why three practical tips become universal. Check the pressure every week. Never ignore signs of wear. And learn to react calmly when something unexpected happens. The next time you look at a tire, look at it with respect. Inside that black ring travels your life, your family's life, and the lives of everyone who shares the road with you.